It's been 15 years since this MacBook first came out of the box. It's a 2008 MacBook Pro. It has a Core 2 Duo processor, 2 gigs of RAM, and 160 gigs of hard drive storage. I will be upgrading the RAM to 8 gigs, replacing the hard drive with an SSD that's 256 gigs, and I will also replace the battery. These upgrades should help give it a fighting chance to avoid the recycling bin. Physically, I think the MacBook Pro fared pretty well considering its age thanks to its aluminum body and build quality. Nowadays, a lot of laptops have so much plastic, I doubt any of them would reach 15 years. Maybe that's by design, so we can keep buying new ones every couple of years. It's always a good idea to get the most out of our devices. We get both economical and ecological advantages by doing so. So today, as part of the updates, I will install Pop! OS on my 2008 MacBook Pro. Pop! OS is designed to help with our workflow, removing distractions so we can focus on work, whatever work means for us. Here we see all that System76 is offering, from laptops, desktops, mini PCs, servers, and even components for your machine. Here on the Pop! OS website, we can see videos that we can reference to help us customize the OS. Here we also see development toolkits with an extensive library available at our disposal. Pop! OS uses APT and Flatpak to manage packages. Go to pop.system76.com and download the OS. I downloaded the 22.04 LTS version. You may want to try the NVIDIA version if your machine has an NVIDIA graphics card. Once download is complete, verify your download by typing in the command line. The script is provided in the description below. Then compare the results with the hash that's provided in the Pop! OS website. If everything checks out, continue to write the downloaded image to your USB drive using Etcher or Rufus or any similar app of your choice. Plug in the USB drive to the MacBook and turn it on. Make sure to press the Option button so we can select the USB drive to boot. From here, follow the usual prompts to set up the OS. Choose the language to be used. For me, it's going to be English. Select region, then keyboard layout will also be English for me. Here it's asking whether I want to perform a clean install, meaning erase all the data on your drive and install a fresh copy of Pop! OS, or custom install, which means create an additional partition or resize an existing partition on your drive. I will select clean install as there is nothing on my drive anyways. For this MacBook, I only have the 256 gig SSD installed. I'll select the drive, then click erase and install. Here it's asking for my full name and the username that I want to use. I'll enter that and then select next. Then I will enter the password for the username that I created. Here Pop! OS is asking me if I want encryption on the whole drive. Encryption will add a layer of security, but will also somewhat slow read and write speeds. I'm opting for more security as I think having slower speeds is worth having more security. So I click encrypt. Now sit back and relax as this may take some time. Although Pop! OS is based on Ubuntu, differences go beyond the surface. Pop! OS is more than a reskin of Ubuntu. A lot of Linux folk actually prefer the current version of Pop! OS to the current version of Ubuntu. But when a new version comes out, who knows? To me, Pop! OS provides a lot of custom features not available anywhere else, such as auto tiling. Basically, it introduces efficiency in assignment of real estate in your desktop. There's a lot of cool features that make Pop! OS unique, 
and the best way to find out is to try it out for yourself. In total, the setup took about 20 minutes. Depending on the speed of your USB drive, it may take less time for you. Once everything is installed, your machine will reboot and you will be greeted by the login screen. But first, you have to enter the password to decrypt the SSD. Welcome to Pop OS. There's a lot of customizations and settings that you need to look into depending on how you want to use your machine and what machine you're actually using. Feel free to explore to find what you need. Update and upgrade the packages before anything else. Script will be in the description below. We're now able to use the MacBook and with pretty decent speeds at that. And with Pop OS, it can definitely enhance our workflow productivity. I hope you found the video useful. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.